In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word, the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity. Filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, grant, we pray, that by her example, we may in humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, asked for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. It is not enough for you to worry men, but you also worry, my God. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter he is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For He founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in His holy place? He whose heads are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Please stand. key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, calm and free the prisoners of darkness. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, 
the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kapatid, pansin niyo ba sa Ebanghelyo na si Maria ay nagkaroon ng mabagal na paglago ng pagkakilala sa kanyang sarili. There was this gradual progression of the self-knowledge of Mary. Ibig sabihin sa simula pa lang, hindi niya kaagad alam na ganun siya. Paano ko nasabi yon? Pansin niyo sa pagbati ng anghel, sabi sa kanya, Aba, napupuno ka ng grasya. Bago din kasunod, sumasa iyo ang Diyos. Anong reaksyon ni Mary? Naguluhan siya. Maganda nga ang expression sa English eh. She was greatly troubled. Hindi lang troubled, but greatly troubled. E magsabi ba naman sa iyo na pinagpala ka ng Diyos, punong-puno ka ng grasya? Makikita natin mga kapatid na si Maria ay hindi masyado mataas ang tingin sa sarili. She was unassuming. Ilan kaya sa atin dito gusto ipakilala kasama yung mga achievements natin. Kahit nga yung mga nagtatrabaho sa simbahan eh, minsan papakilala pa sa iyo. O matagal na yan. Sila mismo o ibang tao sasabihin, yan matagal na yan sa simbahan, naglilingkod. Yan, matagal ng BEC yan, President, Coordinator, matagal ng member na ng BEC or ng PPC, o di kaya, nagbibigay ng kumunyon, altar servers, matagal na yan, tumanda na yan dyan. Parang pumapalakpak yung tenga, masayang-masayang marinig. In fact, gustong sabihin ng iba. Yung mga achievements, gustong ipagyabang kung pwede lang. Sabihin sa lahat ng tao, si Maria ang assuming. Yung pong kapatid kong kambal, nagkwento siya sa akin minsan, meron daw siyang kaibigan mula nung nagsimula sila magtrabaho, teachers, at nakita niya paano nagsikap at naging doctor. Doctor in education. Eh dahil magkaibigan sila, pag pinapakilala niya sa mga iba niyang kakilala, Sasabihan ng kapatid ko, ito si Miss ganito. Ito si ano, di ba, pangalan ay Rose. O di kaya si Anna. Iko-correct siya ng kaibigan niya. Huwag naman ganun, Steve. Doctor. Wow. Doctor. Marami mga ganun. Gusto ipakilala with titles. Si Maria. Ina ng Diyos. Very unassuming. Ba't ko sinabing gradual progression of self-knowledge sapagkat nagtanong-tanong pa siya. 
at sinabi ng anghel sa paliwanag, ikay magiging ina ng Diyos. Anong ending? Doon natin makikita na nakilala ni ni Maria ang kanyang pagkatao. Pero hindi nagmayabang. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Andun pa rin yung pagpapakumbaba. Kaya nga minsan, naisip ko, mali yata yung maraming titles na binibigay natin kay Maria. Queen of Heavens. Queen of Martyrs. Ano pa yung sinasabi natin sa kanya? Okay lang yung Mother of the Church. Mother of God. Queen of Apostles. Baka sasabihin ni Maria, gusto ko lang naman maging simple. Simpleng babae lang ako. Masyado kayo. Pag sa iba yan sinasabi, mga palakpak ang tenga, ikaw naman. Halimbawa kagabi, may nakita ako dito sa labas, kakilala ko, kasama yung pamilya, mga kapatid, biniro ko lang, may tsura din naman, medyo chubby, sabi ko, oh, ang gaganda pala ng, ng pamilya nyo, ng lahi nyo. Joke din yung sagot niya sa father naman. Ganyan. Ka talaga father. Yung iba, gustong marinig. Gustong sabihin. I-broadcast. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, tayo na lagi nagsisimba, tayo na feeling natin, malapit tayo sa Diyos, malapit tayo sa simbahan, paalala sa atin, lalo na sa mga naglilingkod, sa simbahan o saan man pinakita ni Maria ang pagpapakumbaba this my dear brothers and sisters for me is the example of absolute humility that is why God chose her pipiliin tayo ng Diyos sa maraming pagkakataon o maraming paraan na maging kanyang katuwang partner. Let's remain humble. Let's keep that humility. Humility will lead us to nobility. Like Mary. Please stand. Let us pray that you may be able to follow the example of Mary who is humble, full of faith, and always ready to do the Lord's will. After each petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, as God's people, advance in our faith journey with the guidance and teachings of our pastors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that our government officials exhaust their means to promote peace and seek the well-being of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated men and women be true witnesses of God's kingdom by their faithfulness to their vows. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people be firm in their faith generous in their love, and steadfast in their hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead who responded to God's invitation share in the joy of, of the Master's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, we humbly present to the Lord in silence all our other personal and communal intentions. Father, your eternal word was made man when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. May we follow her example in preparing for the coming of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, we say, Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilica at sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya na mahal na ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na ina. Ingat sa pag-uwi, enjoy the rest of the day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.